Welcome guys into TechPress and today we're going to be tackling a big move. We wanted to transfer your Shopify store into another Shopify store wire to the right place. So whether you are upgrading your plan, you wanted to consolidate your stores or just needed a fresh start and you wanted to let's say sell everything into another um, user inside of Shopify, they're going to be walking you through the process step by step. So for this process you wanted to understand maybe why transferring the store. So there are several reasons why you might need to transfer your Shopify store. This should be, for example, upgrading your plans, like moving from Shopify Lite to a higher tire plan, consolidating your stores, combining multiple stores into one, or just start threshing. So creating a new store with a different theme or a business model, it should be really, really way for everybody who wanted to get started. And now, uh, really important guys, that before you begin, you want to keep this crucial points in mind, which is, first of all, backing up to your data. So use Shopify application or manual export your products to customers and other data. For that, focus into products. Check out all of the products that you currently have in here. You can select all of them here now into export all your products. You can export them as a CSV file or plain CSV file. I can show you to do this process if you want to import all of this information into a new store right now if you wanted to plan through downtime your store might be temporarily unavailable during the transfer but everything should be inside Shopify just as you just leave it so think of it as an, an active store now the app compatibility not all the applications will transfer seamlessly you might need to reinstall and reconfigure them into your new store so take that in mind for example here i have a lot of applications installed into my store but if i check out from one so if i into another one maybe these applications needed to be reinstalled once again and even though i have already paid for that service it's really important to take that in mind and the domain transfer if you're using a custom domain you might need to transfer it for a new store really really important and lastly the theme transfer so the theme transfer your theme will also need it to be transferred right so when i click here into my online store here's my theme and if you have a paid theme what you can do is to click into this three dots and download all the theme files so you can import them into your other shopify store right so the first method is to using a migration application this is like the easiest way to transfer your store with this migration application this apps automated much of the process and i i'm going to click into applications and what you can do is to look out for migration like this and look out for into the shopify app store there's car to car there's max uh, matrix C5, there is the transfers of data, there is a lot of applications that you can choose. What I can suggest to you in order to find the right application for this process is to find a free plan available, has a really strong great rating and is built for Shopify. So when you have chose that, I'm going to choose for example the Matrix C5, just hitting to install the application and you want to connect your old and your new stores within the applications. You want to select the data you want to transfer, such as the products, check out the terms and conditions, the privacy notes, the cookie policies, absolutely everything. So you're going to approve all of this. And here's the new export. So let's type new export, new blank export format. Really important to choose the Metrixify because I will install this application into my other Shopify store. So it should be really important to check them out. So I'm going to choose all of this, my product, my smart collection, my customers, my companies, my discount, my drafts, payout pages, meta objects, menu files, everything, right? Now, you can see that we have all the estimate, the total, the columns, and all of it. It's really important that if you see this red attention required, this might be telling you what are the columns you would like to use. For example, you want to have the basic columns, locations linked to the customers meta fields you want to enable all of them if you want to for example here i select only the basic elements basic columns and there we go now if i hit now into export what's going to happen here is that export should be now in progress right now we can review the results and verify that all the data has been transferred correctly uh in my case the remaining time is three minutes meanwhile what i'm going to be doing here is to open a new tab and inside here i'm going to open shopify i'm going to use another um server so we can check out how we can sign in into a different shopify account like this really easily and i'm going to sign in 
I'm gonna do this next time. And there we go, we are now inside the Shopify. Right, so here's my store. There we go. So what I'm gonna be doing here now is to install Matrixify. Check it out into the Shopify app store and install the application. So here it is. I selected and I installed it. Once I have now installed this, we can go back and check out how thus the plan has now uh, done the process. In my case, I'm going to just download all the exported file. Here it is. I go back. I hit into install. And once I have installed the DS application, once again, I'm going to do exactly the same process. Now let's hit into add file to import our exported um, website, which in this case here is. Here's the ID, the state, the created at, the plan, the threats, and the uploaded file. And here is all the things that we have just selected. I'm going to choose the option that says import, and the import job started. Now here you can see to the upper side what is the elapsed and the remaining elements. So for more control, you can transfer your data manually using your CSV files. This is more uh, time consuming, but you can be a good option if you don't want to use an application, right? Now, there's another solution if you wanted to transfer more stuff. For example, the domain transfer before I can focus into another option. The domain transfer is uh, to go directly into your domains. Go for settings. Go for the option that says domains, of course. And inside here, you should be seeing this element that says connect an existing domain. In my case, we are not going to be enabling this because we're having an actual store that has been, of course, to use as developer site. So this store basically does not exist. So we are not able to even change the actual Shopify URL, right? But you can check them out in the. Now, um, lastly, guys, of course, what you need to do the other solution, of course, if you wanted to send this store into another store, another account at Shopify, what you can do is just to focus into, let's go back, of course. Inside here, I'm going to go into my store and choose the option that says uh, manage my account. So what I can do is to look out for my different stores and to send this store directly into another uh, Shopify account. For that, I'm going to focus into my settings go for my general elements and if I choose to check out my plan for example I have this console plan and can hit into the option that says cancel my plan I review the information above continue what is the main reason you're closing this let's say for example that I am switching to another platform or I'm struggling to get my show first store to set up or launch it or I'm not making enough sales Depending on the element that you chose, it should be telling you, um, of course, what you can do in order to, to of course, to send this, in, in order to save your store and at the same time to give you more opportunities, of course, right? Now, in this case, for example, here is my users and permissions. What I can do is to hit into the option that says transfer the ownership. So what I need to do is just to choose another Shopify store, the email of that other Shopify store, enable it in here, and then accept this from the other email so I can have uh, the store own it and trans get transferred into the other Shopify store. So I don't need to do any migration elements. So I just needed just to add another store owner and everything is just be leave it as it is and just add them in here. Exactly the same process as to adding your theme, for example, here into online store, click into themes. Um, I select, for example, to import my own theme, which is a theme upload zip file, right? So basically, that's how we can actually transfer one store into another Shopify store or just to transfer the ownership into another store. So those are really great tools that can be helping you to get started. Basically, it totally depends into what you're actually trying to aim for. So uh, by following these steps and planning carefully, you can make the move smoothly and efficiently really important guys and if you find this guy helpful you can let us know into the comments below you can give us a thumbs up subscribe to express if you have any transfer shopify store before you can let us know into the comments below and tell us what uh what what, what was your experience be between making the transfer into shopify and into another application if it is the case so share your tips into the comments below guys thank you so much for watching uh hopefully we can all see you next time